flag is in the air here for heat race number one for your sport mods. Rex Hazley and Terry Bridges lead them into turn number one. It will be Bridges leading the way off of turn two. Darren Center now going to pull the outside of Rex Hazley as they go side by side for that second spot. Darren Center side by side with Hazley as Hazley trying to hang on to her. He will do just that. Hang on to the second spot as Terry Bridges does lead lap number one in this eight lap heat race. One car, though, blown up on the front straightaway off of turn number four. That is Clint Clausen. Clint Clausen has blown up. A lot of smoke coming out of that car as that thing just grenaded off of turn number four. Green, green flags in there. We're back underway. And Terry Bridge is going to pull out away from Rex Hazley as Hazley have, might have an issue there in turn number one. He'll get slipped up by Darren Center in the 22 machine of Ryan Miller. They go side by side for that second spot. Now Hazley finally has whatever gremlins he had worked out. Get back in uh, on the loud pedal. It will be Brian Miller moving to that second spot over Darren Center. So they work into turn number one. Center going to look back for that second position. Can't quite get it done there. For a man that has on his car zero Fs given, he sure does have a lot of give and take on the racetrack here in heat race number one, does Darren Center. Car looked to be a little bit tight right there going into turn number four. <laughs> so right now it looks like Terry Bridges has the car dialed in right. A lot of these other cars have some handling issues here as the race goes on. Saw a couple of cars getting tight. Rex Hazley had some issues off of turn number two a few laps ago. Jimmy Turstrip back there trying to figure out what group to use going to diamond off that corner and right now running that fifth position and then six it is the twenty five machine of Albert scenes <laughs> so bridges up front by himself has a full straightaway advantage right now over Brian Miller Darren Center Rick Sazing Jimmy Turstrip and those four jars are now getting ready to put on a heck of a battle for that second spot as right now Brian Miller has it Darren, Darren Center is able to get back to about a half a car length behind him can't quite do anything with him off a turn number two a good drive off for the 22 of Brian Miller here comes Rex Hazley down the inside Hazley with a little peekaboo down the inside of Darren Center can't quite do anything with him though off a turn number four as it will be Miller and Center driving away now for the 06 of Hazley Center trying to use a little bit of a lower groove that second groove on the racetrack as Hazley slams the door and Jimmy Turship hangs on to that fourth spot white flag in the air this time for Terry Bridges Bridges into turn number one he'll show the way using that middle groove around Arizona Speedway down the back straightaway he goes he can stretch his legs out going into turn number three because he will win heat race number one for your Santan Ford INCA Sport Mods Terry Bridges gets it done Brian Miller raced his way from the seventh spot to second he'll be a force to reckon with during this main event later on tonight followed by Darren Center throwing up the deuce to your race fans out there as he finishes in third Rex Hazley and Jimmy Turstrip your top five as we get ready for heat race number two Ty Widener Marcos Borquez on the front row going green at the stripe eight laps of distance here second heat race for the sport mods And track will go yellow right out the chute there for that start. So we're going to call that one back. Yeah, as green flags in the air, we're underway. And I see him fanning out three wide. Almost went four wide there. Actually, they looks like they will go four wide for a brief moment there with David Jones, Michael Sabowski. Told you keep an eye on that 10X of Sabowski. He's going to... Try to work his way around the outside of Jones. He'll do that. Now he's going to look the inside of Sanchez as Ty Weiner leads lap number one. Then Sanchez in the second spot, followed by Michael Sabowski in third, David Jones in fourth. David Jones, his fifth night on the race car here, that IMCA Sport Mod. After being a mainstay in the Sport Mod class here just a few years ago, back under his own equipment now in the 33 Y. This is a driver who last year or two years ago was ready to give it all up racing. And here he is tonight. And his own equipment, fifth night out on it, has been kind of up and down with the results so far. First time we've seen out here at Arizona Speedway in the new car. Right now running out four spot, having some issues there, though, getting, keeping the car down the inside of the track. That car just wanted to dart up to the top, left the door open there for the 85 JR Brian Bullis. Bullis, though, couldn't do anything with him as they worked their way off of turn number two. Michael Sabowski now looking for that second spot. Marcos Borquez in the 69. He's going to hold him off for the moment. But here comes Sabowski down to the inside. 
Side by side, they go for second. Sabowski down low, Borka's up top. Little contact there made by Sabowski. He slammed the door hard on the 69X of Borkos. Or Borquez. Ty Weiner, the man out front, about 10 car lengths right now. But Michael Sabowski has that 10X hooked up on the racetrack. He is trying to drive down that Z28 as Borquez right now having some handling issues. Appears to be slowing down. Looks like the parachute coming out the backside of that car as David Jones looked down to his inside, trying to get past him. It's Jason Suchtow will go a lap down the 75. All the field will get by him down the back straight away again. Such to his first year in the Sport Mod class. Has that caution tape hanging out the back. Rookie driver just trying to make some laps out here at Arizona Speedway. So right now it is still Ty Widener out front, followed by Sabowski. Looks like Borges has his issues figured out. He's in third still, followed by David Jones in fourth. Fifth is Brian Bullis with white flag in the air this time for the Black Widow, Ty Widener. Widener leads the field off a of turn at number two. Michael Sabowski following the same exact line he is. Bork has tried it. That's going to open up David Jones for that third. We'll keep an eye on that as they come to the checkered flag. It will be Ty Widener winning this heat race, followed by Michael Sabowski. Widener almost let it go, though. Sabowski almost did get by him. But Bork has in third, Jones in fourth.